Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. And in this video, I'm going to show you the WooCommerce Quantity Manager plugin. The WooCommerce Quantity Manager plugin allows you to take control over the quantities of products in your store. So things like setting minimum and maximum quantities, controlling the amount each customer can spend, and changing the default quantity increments and step values. The free version of WooCommerce gives you no control over quantities. Every product quantity defaults to one, and there are no limits on how many customers can buy. With the WooCommerce Quantity Manager plugin, you can set quantity rules and defaults that encourage customers to buy more. Why suggest a customer buys one when in fact you could be persuading them to buy a few more by, say, having a default value of five? Remember, the customer can override the default and order less. You're just giving them a gentle nudge to buy more. You can also easily set minimum order levels too, either by quantity or value. That way you can make sure you only sell products at profitable quantities. Now over here on the demo site I have for the plugin, I have some products set up with minimum and maximum orders. So for example, on this product here, you can see the minimum order quantity is three. And there's also a maximum quantity of 15. And with the plugin, you can also set rules based on value as well as quantity. With this product here, you can see that the quantity has a step value of five. So when you use the up arrow, the amount increments in multiples of five. And then with this product, it has a default value of zero, meaning the customer can make a free choice as to the quantity they wish to purchase. So let's take a look at how to install this plugin and set it up for your site. You'll find a link to download the plugin in the description below. Once you have the zip file downloaded, just go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, select the zip file you downloaded, and once that is uploaded, Go back to Plugins, find your new plugin, activate, and then click Settings. Here you just need to enter your license key, activate, and we're good to go. Now here in the settings, we can set up some global quantity rules. In other words, these rules will apply to all products unless we override them at the category product or variation level. So for now, I'm going to set mine up like this. The order quantity rules I'm going to ignore for now. For the order value rules, I'm going to set a minimum of $50 and a maximum of $100. The default quantity I'm going to ignore, and the step value I'm also going to ignore for now. Now I need to come down to the bottom of the page here and save my settings. Now, if I update my test site, you'll see if I add one of these products to the cart and view the cart, there's a little reminder about the minimum and maximum values required to purchase. Okay, so let's take a look at how to override these global settings by changing the category quantity settings. To do this, I'm gonna to go to my admin and then WooCommerce categories here and let's edit the hoodies category. If I come down the page, you'll see there's now a new section created by the plugin with quantity rules that will apply to this category only. So for this category, I wanna set a default quantity of five. So I can change that here. And remember, the customer can always override this and enter a smaller number. It's just a subtle encouragement to purchase more. And that default value will appear on all products in this category I've just edited. We can also edit the quantity settings at the product level. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the admin and then to WooCommerce products here, find the products I want to change the quantity settings for and click edit. And then I'm going to come down to the inventory tab here. And you can see I can now edit the quantity values for this individual product. I'm going to set a minimum quantity of three. Now this product also has variables and we can even change the quantity values for the variations of this product. So if I click on the variations tab here, we can see that each variation has its own quantity options. 
And the important thing here is that the plug-in logic is hierarchical, so more targeted rules like these ones, available on a product variation, override more generic rules, like the global ones we set in the plug-in settings earlier, so there won't be any conflicts. Now, let's update this product and take a look at it on the site. OK, so back on my test site, I'm just going to refresh. And let's just order some of the hoodies I've just been editing. So I need to select a colour and size. Now let's try ordering just two. And remember, we set this up as a product with a minimum order of three required to purchase. So if I now go to the cart, there, you can see we have a message saying we need to order at least three of this product to check out. So let's change that quantity to three, update the cart, and the message is gone and we're ready to check out. OK, so that's been a look at the WooCommerce Quantity Manager plugin from Barn2. You'll find a link to download it, as well as more information about the plugin, in the description below. Thanks for watching.